Kika mwata pata uli sinda ganja yako Ganja yako Chomieka wali ya kifisha South Africa wame ya masisha Yes people you know what? I'm excited for this great artist. Live and direct right here on a big bad station. Arawakradio.com That's right, that's right. If you want to know the name, Japilla every time. If you don't know, you know what he's live and direct with us right here on the big bad station we're going to be speaking with him and it's going to be a complete blessing each and every time big shout out to everybody sending lots of love lots of blessings it's always appreciated so of course Japil, are you there yes sire give thanks every time every time greetings greetings so of course let the people know let the listeners know who is Japila. Yeah, man, give thanks, Selassie. I greetings in the name of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Eli Selassie, the first Joe. Rastafari. Yeah, man, I and I, Japila, Yadin in calling from Kenya, Nairobi, you know, in a motherland, Africa. Yes, I. And give thanks, you know, over here, we're keeping up the works and keeping up the fire. Every so the time. fire can't cook, can't quench. Every time. Rastafari. More yeah. love, more Truly love. In the order of Rastafari. For real, for real. Celeste. So you know what, Japila, tell us about your journey, with, especially within the music and growing up and so forth. Let us know a little bit about you. Yes, I. So I and I start working with the sound system uh, in Uganda. Okay. Kampala. Yes. yes. We hook up with a man called Rasempa and uh, the mighty Zion Sounds. Yeah. You see, this way I start to work with the sound system. And uh, then one time there's a tour, Kenyan artists who come there, you see there was a situation in Kenya, politically things were not good. Okay. So I hook up with this band uh, through the musical journey and now we team up, they were called, the, uh, they were the Warriors. Nice. So this was the big reggae band in Kenya at that time, you know, in business. Yeah. And I met the artists what that were there and the managers you know and they introduced me now also to live music to start to present the music live wow wow also wow. in kenya we have a good uh, uh the establishment of uh, reggae music you know we have sound system here is big time we have different kind of sounds and also they always have different uh events where they have sound clash yeah so people are very very conversant with the reggae music and different reggae artists who always come to perform even from jamaica and the uk wow so we just kept on the fire and uh keeping up the presentation until later on also i had to move to ethiopia okay. to link there the zara Jacob. this is the crown prince yeah the great grandson of his imperial majesty kadamawe aile selassie the first yeah. and also here i met uh my father isa chaglasses you know wow. who also introduced me to the business and how also to you know well presentation of the music and ever since we have just been keeping the fire you know mm. wow what, what a journey yeah. <laughs> what a journey what a journey you know and when I heard, heard your tunes, I was like, yo, <laughs> you're coming with some different kind of energy, different vibrations. But how did you yeah. know that this was your calling? Because, you know, sometimes people get into things, but they don't know this is their calling. How did you know it was your calling? Yes, I. it was just within I and I self, you see. But yeah. now when I came also into Rastafari, eh? Yeah. Uh, it is, I have the elders, the Rastafari elders also e elevated me because now with this, I, I went to the mountain. There's a place called Kitui in yeah. Eastern uh, County, 
this is in Kenya. Yeah. Uh, I have to go there in the Naya Bingi camp. So they nurtured me. They say first I have to get the teachings of His Majesty mm. because the talent is there, but you need the culture. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So so as the delivery can be genuine and the liberty. That's true. That's so, very true. Yeah, so this also helped me yeah, much in the part. But the music part, you know, the music choose I, you know, I didn't choose the music. So we give thanks, you know, for the manifestation and for the talent. For real, 100%. Yeah. So, you know, when it comes to yourself now and recording tunes, putting down what you want to actually say on a rhythm, how does you, how do yourself work that out? Do you write it down? Do you freestyle? How does J Japilla work? so uh different uh occasion come with different kind of vibes you know okay. there's certain music sometime where you know it's like you have to put the concentration much there how you know you have a vision you know how you want the output to come yeah you see and the topic which you are addressing you know mm -hmm. that the audience will come to the understanding of it so it has different occasion and also sometimes it depends with the director or the producer whom i'm working with okay. you know yeah. and uh, and the project you know mm. for instance you know if it is for a school project for environment music you see it will be influenced that much because they point out kindly assist us to highlight this and certain areas yeah you see I hear that. Uh, and there's where also we are maybe uh with the other artists Mm. where it's like a collaboration or a combination yeah. you know where you know we just come with the ideas you mm -hmm. know like uh, as you say freestyle just over there so it always we are you know all around in whichever way music must be written music yeah. must be produced i hear yes. that 100 <laughs> percent. and you know what one of the tunes that i like from yourself is call on me tell me about that tune yes this tune you know in everything we have to maintain the balance yeah. you know yes fire is also an element but also you need you know wind and you need the water also to balance the yeah. fire For real. so uh this was you know our levication also you know we have also to show respect love you know and also attention to the empress and the you know yeah. royal daughters of his majesty so mm -hmm. you know to promote the aspect you know of man woman you know family vibe you know getting together this is what keeps the world go you know going on you know so yeah this was the vibe you know to promote you know i hear that 100 deep the messages of empress menin queen mother of creation you see rastafari every time so you know yes we've got a question from a listener they're asking you what how are rastafarians treated within your own country uh we give thanks you know as you know uh kenya yeah is a, is a is a land you know and a country where you know people are always in a struggle you know for the liberation and for the freedom yeah you see for real right about now you see we we we, we give thanks because we come a long way also and the mm -hmm. rastafari community yeah and uh we still face various challenges you know uh, as a Rastafari, for instance, you know, most of us are being incarcerated and uh, going to jail because of the use of herb and cannabis. Mm. You see? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes uh, most of the uh, Rastafari is unemployed and unemployable. This is what we always say because, you see, the system discriminates against mm. I and I Rastafari, even those who are qualified in various uh, aspects or yeah faculties you know are sometimes denied those chance yes they have the qualification and the ability to execute works yeah so but it's something also we are dealing with because rasta don't like to sit down still and complain you know mm. we do what we have to do yeah but uh right now our priority is education I hear that. so yes our children now can study you know without be any hindrance we are we have a case on ganja on the high court also yeah. you know mm. and they are yeah we are following up so we have the challenges you know that are there but yeah man we're just keeping on strong yeah as they it's say we fight the fight right we have, yes every time every time so you know within the music now and yourself you're out there you're putting out your works and you know you're you go to different sound systems you feel the vibrations 
what can you say to the younger generation up and coming that want to be a part of this culture this sound system what would you say to them yes uh to the youth yeah i know and the young people you know who are coming i have to say just trod skillfully you know and this music you know especially uh the reggae music the rasta music dub music you know yeah it's good music and we emphasize also on more message mm. sometimes you can have one song you know that is maybe out of a topic or for the party you know but please push out for more message out there yeah you see because uh the song also will tend to last for very long time mm. yes I, and also yeah man more motivation uh search out you know yeah. uh move around to get the experience you know with different kind of producers with different sounds uh with different engineers you know this is all will also enhance yeah. you know your output and your delivery so mm. keep the fire blazes and don't cease mm -hmm. you know it can't cool can't quench yeah motivation 100%. yes sir yeah. 100 so you know what japila who inspires you uh, in life and in music who inspires you yes so uh all glory goes unto his imperial majesty kadamawe i list last year the first and empress menin yeah only money like in selassie i marcos kiavi you know the trinity For divinity real. no yeah yes you know because uh i list last year you know come uh to open i and i eyes and realize the essence of life and humanity the value that humanity bring forth so you know and also musically we give thanks to the you know ancient whalers mm. you know who set up the foundation you know peter torch you yeah. know bonnie whaler mm. bob marley you see yeah yes i give thanks to them and also sisla kalonji you know the ones who came forth you know and yeah. alpha blondie yeah nice. always been an inspiration to i and i and many many more you know okay. tiken jaffa kogi yes i selassie i Every we time. have gentlemen you know alba rosie many many of them is it yeah for real i hear that yeah but you know when it comes to yourself now and you know people are asking a question for yourself they're asking do you have an album or lp coming out <laughs> they always want to know that yes so first of all even uh there was an mp lp that was released uh like three years back yeah. yes I, and uh soon also another i'm working on just finishing there's an album also supposed to come out if titled ethiopia okay See? yes so we'll make sure that it will be out in all platforms you know and also the eye will have it is it for real so okay. that we can to the people and also you know move around and also meet different sound system and uh, different bands where we can also work together nice. for the message for real yes, hear and that. to spread yes so for yourself now as a performer as an entertainer as well do you perform with a band or do you perform on your own like a pa how do you work as an artist yes so uh also you know as i say reggae yeah as three units we have from the uh studio where we produce the music we record the vocals yeah and the instrument are arranged so you have the sound system in the sound system is basically the sound yeah so where we have them the the selectors you see yeah. the vibe there is of this sound so there's that presentation you know also yeah. I, I i work with the djs and the selectors and also there's a pre presentation of the live where well, now we have to come with a band i have also my band it's called the restoration band you know we always have session every thursday of the week you know nice, nice. in our workshop yes here in nairobi wow wow so because now uh, and even on bob marley on sixth we shall be having a concert for bob marley on sixth with the band wow you see so on that aspect i'm always flexible you know we i perform with the band also live and where there's the sound system like uh, recently we had king shiloh yeah who came here yeah and played with the umoja sound you know 
yeah. give thanks for man King Shiloh. You know, it was very massive. I was there. Now you see, this was a big sound system. Yeah. So, Wapa, also I was performing with the sound, you know, with King Shiloh there. So, this is how the thing move. You know, we go sometime to perform in the ghetto. They have no even band equipment. They have a sound one speaker. You know, we will just work it out with it. Yeah, yes. I hear that. I hear that. So, but also for the authentic, sorry. No problem, you go. Yes, for the authentic also, you know, presentation yeah. of reggae, yeah, it has to come with the live. Yeah. You know, the standard how it was set also by Akina. Yeah. Burning spear. Yes. For real, 100% every time. I was going to ask you, why Why is your band called Restoration? I have an idea why, but why from your own your own mouth, as they say? Uh, because in this time where we are living in, it's a perilous time. Yeah. We see a destruction on humanity, and it is. it seems like it is humanity in a way to destroy itself. Yeah. So uh, we need a certain kind of thinking or how we are supposed to move you know yeah uh we need to you know to renew you know our ways how we move even how our attitudes how we have towards the environment towards nature yeah you know towards even our own self you know mind determination so uh and we thought you know uh the band you know with the restoration it's coming with that vibe you know yeah that which was forgotten or people are not looking into it you know and it is important this is where we have to have that sense you know right. to come back to it well restoration is it restoration you know of nature environment the trees now everybody is talking about global warming yeah. climate change yes and it's like they are talking you know but we need to do something to restore it so that that climate change or the global warming something can improve it means uh because it was not like this some years ago now it has changed so we have to restore to go to know what we we need to do hmm. you know right wow. yes so this is how this band is coming with and also to preserve yeah. yes i hear that 100%. this was the idea about yes definitely so as yourself do you also farm are you a farmer as well <laughs> yes i am a farmer wow and uh i give thanks farming also is part of i live it as yeah. a, also a rastaman yeah and uh ambition because you have to have you know organic you know mm -hmm. food and also practice it in this time yeah so uh i do farming also in my place in my yard and also with the rasta community at large we have also our farms in different parts that we are doing also large-scale farming commercial farming yeah where also uh we, we know we, we also sustain ourselves nice. you know in a, in a way of collective security for surety. nice and uh my farming is basically based on uh indigenous preservation and also preserving indigenous seeds and uh organic yeah you know or permaculture way yeah you see wow this is the combination i'm always using yes for real, for real that's why i had to ask you i could feel it from you that you were preserving yourself which was which is which is why i had to ask yes for real so somebody else is asking a question and i thought you know let me ask you and you can direct it to them they're asking for their own knowledge they want to know why Haile Selassie I didn't have locks but Rasta in general have locks and I thought what a perfect person than yourself to reply okay uh, what I can say is that we being a Rastafari or I myself being a Rasta yeah uh, it was not necessarily what Haile Selassie believed in Mm -hmm. uh or what you know because even when i was i became a rasta while i was searching for the rastafari roots and teaching i even didn't know what uh his majesty believed yeah. in or uh more about his religion yeah. you see but uh it is rastafari it is the response you know that we towards oppression mm -hmm. you know at the time, that this is what now gave rise uh to rastafari 
the response and the divinity of his imperial majesty you know as Marcus has prophesied by marcus gavi that uh you know a king shall come from the east and when the black king and the queen are crowned we know that the redemption is at hand right. so rastafari's response to that event which is the coronation you know we are responding to that coronation yes definitely and uh, and also uh that's that's why now we came and also at later stage uh, Rastafari, they took on the struggle that was in Kenya of the Mau Mau, yeah. uh, which was the struggle for independence. Mm -hmm. And so they took the image of the Mau Mau, which were the Kemathi, Dedan Kemathi, and the Mwariyama, who are the warriors. Yeah. So they wore the dreadlocks. You see, this is how it was a stage also in the development of Rastafari as a movement. You 100%. see? Yes, definitely. I think. You explained that perfectly. <laughs> you explained it perfectly. Yes, yes, sir. Bless it. Bless Every time. So what's next for you, Japila? What can us as the listeners, as your fans, expect from you? Expect more music and there's more video. Another also documentary is coming, you know, yes. different. Because for me, you know, I do, you know, uh, music, you know, it's all leave it holistic you know but yeah. the music also we are i'm working on workshops you see yeah. uh, like recently just uh last 420 i uh, we had the ganja in daba this is a cannabis symposium and yeah. workshop you know nice. very successful you know we had uh writers you know different publishers you know who are there and it was good because we are starting up a conversation and to create more awareness you know for mm -hmm. our people and also to lobby to our governments, you know, yeah. so that they may decriminalize and stop arresting Rasta and also all other people, you know, because it's not fair. Yeah. So uh, expect more things that will be coming, you know, whether it's a workshop again, you know, in the farming aspect and also more music in store, more music and more video. Wow. You see? I'm and looking also, forward. In the long run, tour, I will be coming, you know, yeah. all these ways. Nice. Yes, I, but yeah, man, time, you know, we just there. Celestia, so I know. Every time. Looking forward to that, 100%. You know what, Japila, I feel like you're constantly putting out positive works, putting out positive movements. I've been following you as an artist for a good while now, and I just love the vibrations that you're bringing. So, of course, I've got to ask you, would you be up for singing a little something live and direct for the listeners now? Yes, sire. Blessings. When you're ready. Yeah, man, ready. Yeah, man, this one is for the legalization of the cannabis. You know, even if you don't smoke it, yeah. just promote it. Because right. hub is for the healing of the nation. Legalize the ganja. Sweet and simenia. Oh, 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 Free up the ganja with you. Let the farmer man plant the ganja seed now. Hey, free up the ganja with you. Higher and higher blaze up the ganja seed. Yo, boom. Ganja make me shoes and ganja make me turban. Ganja make the khaki suit for the soldiers. It's the cure for the glaucoma. High blood pressure, cancer, pneumonia, ganja. Kaboom. Easy. Yes, I am. <laughs> energy, energy, always, every time, every time. But you know what, Japila, before we say goodbye for now, I want you to let the listeners know how they can support you, either through the social media or even email and so forth. Let us know. Yes, sire. Give thanks. Uh, you can always reach I and I on Instagram, on uh, Japila underscore Indaba. Nice. And uh, you can also check my music on uh, iTunes and also uh, Boomplay. Okay. You know, in those digital platform. Yeah, man. Give thanks. And my email also is Japila Indaba Music at Gmail dot com. You know, if you are looking forward for also events, you know, I and I is also. Yeah. You know, we can always work out something. You know, for, real. for good vibes 
vibration, yeah, man. Reggae music. Every time, every time. You know what, Japilla? It's a blessing to speak with you. And I give thanks for your time and your energy. And I look forward to maybe one day meeting you in person. Oh, give thanks so much. Every time. Yeah, man. DJ Kat. And, uh, yeah, man. Blessings. It's so nice. I'm, I'm humbled. And, uh, yeah, man, we just keep the fire burning. Keep up the good works and good spirit, you know, and the good music also. I know they are also you are very, very, you know, familiar and you know how the music thing goes. So, yeah, man, keep up the good vibes and just bless you so much. Same this is last year, the first. That's yes. the far, right? Bless up every time. Have a blessed rest of the day and keep the link, yeah? Yes, sire. Our Molo. work. Blessings. Bless. bless. Yes, people, please do go out there, go and support Japilla, go and show him some love, okay? And of course, if you like the style, you like the flavor, please also see if you can support him in any possible way. But right now, we're playing you a track, okay? It's called Call On Me, Great Vibrations from Japilla. Here we go. Yeah. 